Anonymous Watch Guy here with a full review video. Quick wrist check. We're in the Yunhan's 1972 Chronoscope Limited Edition today. Really cool watch. But today I have a very special watch from Australian brand Basel. And Basel is a very well established Australian brand. They make a lot of their watches in Switzerland. But this particular one is hand assembled in the United States. And uh, this is the classic field, reference 31101, official U.S. Army field watch. And you might wonder how a Australian brand uh, came to make a U.S. Army military spec field watch. Well, this watch has a really good story uh, and, and it benefits a really good cause. And I had the pleasure of talking to both Aaron, the CEO of Basel, and Christoph. Uh, the founder and designer of the company and uh, about this watch and uh, really nice guys uh, you can tell how passionate they are about their watches and not only uh, passionate about their watches but also passionate about watch enthusiasts and just people in general um, they're a people driven company and that really comes through uh, with talking to those guys they were just great uh, Aaron, the CEO of the company, uh, had some PTSD uh, from some traumatic experiences early in his life, and he befriended a veteran uh, who also had PTSD. And although their PTSD was from uh, different experiences, it affected their life in a similar way. Uh, and through that friendship, uh, Aaron... Uh, decided to reach out to the U.S. Army about making a military spec watch and didn't really expect to hear anything back. Uh, but uh, to his surprise, they got back with him almost immediately. Uh, an Australian company had never uh, produced a U.S. military watch before. Uh, so that's kind of how that collaboration started. This watch is produced to the U.S. military specifications for a field watch. It is also designed uh, by a team of 11 veterans, uh, along with Christoph, the designer for the company. Uh, so, And it is hand-assembled by veterans in the U.S. Uh, this watch has been featured on in a New York Times article. It was just recently featured in Worn and Wound as well. And 10% of all the profits from this watch are donated uh, to veterans causes so just a really cool watch with a really cool story and uh, sorry to be a little long-winded but uh, I will leave a link in the description uh, to the worn and wound article uh, as well as to the Basel website but uh, just a great story to the watch great company uh, really good guys behind this company so I I'm happy to uh, feature one of their watches because uh, they they're just great so the specifications on this watch, again, this is a 38 millimeter watch. It is a 45 millimeter lug tip to lug tip. You do have a 20 millimeter, 22 millimeter lug opening, excuse me. It is 11.95 millimeters thick. You do have a screw down crown that, at the three o'clock position that gives you 100 meters water resistance. And in that screw down crown, you have soil from Fort Campbell, Kentucky. So you've got soil from an actual U.S. military base in there, which is really cool. You do have a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective treatment. Gives you a nice shot of that dial. And this is running the venerable Seiko NH38 movement. So you get hacking, hand winding, uh, all that good stuff. Tried and true tested workhorse movement, uh, true no date movement, so no ghost date position on this watch. So you've got a really solid set of specs there. Really nice looking watch. Definitely like that stark black dial. Got a printed on white minute track around the outside there. It is a sandwich style dial. Uh, you have some nice loom on this watch as well, which we will take a look at. You got your triangle up there at the 12 o'clock position. You got your 24 hours uh, running around the inside of the dial there. And then your Basel logo down there 
in black just above the six o'clock position. Uh, really nice looking handset as well uh, and high polish. Uh, very legible, easy to read. Uh, good contrast to the black dial. Really nice looking watch. Definitely like the sandwich style on this one. Definitely like uh, the overall aesthetic of the watch. A very tool watch aesthetic on this one. It is a field watch. It is a military field watch. You definitely get a tool watch vibe. It is all surgical grade 316L stainless steel with a bead blasted finish. Very nice finishing on this watch. All bead blasted. Looks really good. You do get drilled lugs for quick and easy strap changes. Uh, the strap that it comes on is a nice uh, nylon elastic strap. Uh, kind of a military green. You've got your bead blasted hardware as well with your Basel logo there on the clip. Really nice strap. I think the strap goes very well with the watch. You've also got your specification on the case as well, your 3110 run specification. Really nice looking watch. Very well done. Like the case shape. Curve down LUDs is going to make it comfortable to wear. It does come with an additional strap as well. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice strap made of some recycled material. Uh, very comfortable, but honestly, I think the watch goes best on this nylon green strap. Uh, definitely goes with the military vibe, the military aesthetic of the watch. Really like it on this strap. But overall, a really good looking watch, a classic military field watch look a tool watch vibe for sure on this one really definitely like uh, the overall design i think they did a really nice job on it definitely like the look of the watch really nice sapphire crystal uh, overall really good looking watch let's take a look at the case back so here's a shot of the case back on the watch you can see uh, it is a screwed in case back and you've got your Little dots here that, that you would use to take the case back off. Really interesting design on that case back. But you've got your specifications in the back here. It is a limited edition. as a numbered limited edition of 500. This is number 493. Got your U.S. Army logo on the back there. You've got your U.S. Army specification uh, on the back as well. Basel, Japan, movement assembled in USA. 100 meters waterproof anti-negative vibes and return to military facility if found really cool case back definitely like that a lot definitely goes with the watch very very nicely overall really just great design they did a really nice job on this one uh, using the u.s army spec and the input from actual veterans i think it was a good move by basel again great guys aaron and Kristoff. Great guys, really nice to talk to them, and they've done a really nice job with this watch. This watch is still available on the Basel website. It is $700 US dollars. I think at that price, uh, there is some value for money. I will leave a link in the description of the video to the Basel website so you can purchase this watch if you are interested. They also have a really cool military spec dive watch that's coming out very soon if it's not already out it's already on the website as well definitely check that one out too really cool watch uh, but this field watch is really impressive uh, really have enjoyed my time with the watch uh, let's take a look at the loom and then we'll take a look at what the watch looks like on my seven and a half inch wrist here you can see the loom on the watch they did a really nice job on this one definitely again like that sandwich style dial Great application of loom. You can see you get a nice green glow. All of your Arabics out there are loomed, your triangle and your handset. Really good application of loom. Not sure if it's C3 Super Luminova or not, but you get a really nice green glow. Uh, definitely very nicely done. Good job, Basel, on the loom on this one. Here's the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. You can see it works very nicely. Really, really comfortable strap. This strap works very well. Down the barrel shot there, you can see 45 millimeters lug to lug, 38 millimeters. Really good measurements on this, this watch. It's going to wear very nicely on smaller wrists than mine. 
Uh, and you can see, even though I do have a little bit of a larger wrist, this watch wears well for me. It's not too small. I think it's a sweet spot on dimensions. My sleeves get in the way there. I think it's a sweet spot on dimensions. I think they did a really nice job on this one. Definitely a big fan of the watch. Great watch with a great story uh, and uh, a great cause as well. The Basel Classic Field, reference 31101, the official U.S. Army field watch. Definitely recommend checking this one out. If you liked the video, give me a like, maybe subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.